Components are getting more complex and needing stuff like multitasking machinery to do kind of one hit. But with most multitasking machinery, you might find there's a bit of a compromise, especially in the milling side of things, Andy. The RoboDrill is a really good platform, but it, as of yet, it's not able to do multitasking. It hasn't, no. I mean, we're really proud of the RoboDrill as a platform. It's a very well sorted machine tool uh, for accessing all five faces of the component. So simultaneous machining, three axis machining, it can do it all. Absolutely, three axis machining and all the way up to five as standard on the control. You've got a very special application here right now though, haven't you, doing some multitasking? We have, it's a brand new application for the Fanuc RoboDrill. We've got um, a Nikon five axis table on there at the moment. I mean, it's a DD201 HSR, so it's a high speed rotary. Um, the high speed rotary means it can spin up to 1500 RPM and we can do some multitasking machine, we can do some turning on there as well. Which I've never seen turning in a RoboDrill and you said to me off camera, um, you did this on Saturday, it's the first time it's ever been done in the UK. It is, yeah, it's a brand new table for Nikon, they've been developing over a number of months with um, Nikon and Fanuc in Japan. This table was delivered to us last week, we fitted it over a couple of days. Uh, started using it on Saturday morning and it's here being displayed at our open house. I love it. So some really strong Japanese collaboration, um, partly in the mechanical side of things, integrating the control systems, the motors to make sure that they actually work in synchronicity and also that the, the turning process is reliable, right? Yep, absolutely. Um, Fanuc in Japan have released a, a full suite of software options for the turning uh, function. So we've turned those on on the RoboDrill, installed those option files. So we can now program the turning function as you would do any other CNC lathe with your G70 series uh, cam cycles. So you can just draw that that profile rough finish. Yep, you can draw your draw your profile and cut in uh, coordinates as you would do any other CNC lathe. G71, G72, G76, they're all there. Constant surface speed, all those functions are now available on the Robo Drill. Amazing, almost like you have a lathe built into this with the really great five axis capability of a standard robot drill. It is, and the, the five axis capability of the, of the robot drill is legendary, we, especially coupled with the direct drive table. Um, the axis um, uh, tuned for that, for that five axis application to give some really smooth motion. Uh, couple that with AICC2, which is the thousand block look ahead uh, capability of this uh, B5 series control unparalleled uh, smoothness of control and uh, just an all round great five axis solution. The standard rubber drill, really complex five axis uh, scan service that would take a long time if you didn't have 24,000 RPM on, let's say a, a lathe with driven tooling or maybe a multitasking machine, it'd be a much bigger footprint. Uh, yeah, absolutely it would be. I mean, the robot drill footprint is, is what, what sells the machine to a certain extent. It's a highly capable 700 millimeter X axis stroke with in this machine 1.3 seconds cut to cut time. You know, you're not gonna get better than that on another multitasking machine. So we really wanna take advantage of that speed of tool change, um, the milling capability, which is just really well sorted and this new multitasking turning capability. I imagine you probably couldn't get a chip to chip time on anything except maybe a sliding head. Yeah, I think you'd be in that realm. You'd be struggling, wouldn't you? Yeah, and maybe not on the components of this size. So I think we've got a really good solution here that's going to that's gonna be applicable to a really wide range of customer bases. Brilliant. So that is multitasking brand new here on the Fanuc Robodrill, here at the Fanuc Open House in collaboration with Nikon.